my name is Grian, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. In the last episode, we constructed an iron farm, and in this episode, I plan to use that iron to construct a railway to multiple biomes. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm sort of going to fly around using my camera count, and then once I locate a biome that I want, I'm going to write down the coordinates for it, and then travel there in survival mode and build my railway. Alright, so biome number one is this gravel hills biome, and it is insanely ugly, but it is extremely useful. Now biome number two is any type of snowy biome, and uh, you need a snowy biome so we can get some ice. Biome number three is the desert biome, and this is one of the most important biomes because we need glass big time. Now our fourth and final biome is this giant spruce forest, and it is important because I am probably going to want a lot of spruce in the future. Now I'm going to start with the Gravel Hills biome because it is the closest to here and it's going to not take very long to get Lift off. After watching the time lapse back, I realized that it was really, really boring. So for the next three, they're actually going to be longer and like sometimes like four or five times longer. So I'm just going to do cuts for them. And now I take on the daunting task of building a railway all the way to the desert. I had to switch over to my other keyboard because the keys are easier to press down because I've been holding down shift for like, I don't know, an hour. It's horrible. I've just run out of cobblestone. Uh, that hasn't happened to me in ages. Cobblestone. Do you, you know how much I was mining the last episode? It's insane. I have to place, like, over 4,000 blocks of this stuff. It's... Oh my god. So I dropped off some vintage beef at my friend's house, and he's put a mailbox out here for me, and he gave me some green. <laughs> That's nice of him. Uh, just wanted to share that with you. Wait. Sorry, this is Grain's mailbox. Who is this Grain character? Gosh. So I've gotten halfway through my desert railway and I've realized that there is no way that I am going to finish all four of these railroads before this episode is scheduled to come out. So uh, I'm just going to continue to do this in the background and I'll let you know when it's done, but I think I'm going to devote the rest of this episode to another project that I need to address. For my next project, I'm going to be taking a leaf out of Mumbo and Iskal's books and building a district, an industrial district, and it's going to house all of my farm. Alright, so I think I've found my biome. It's not too far away. It'll be like a breeze compared to going all the way to that desert biome. Anyway, so I uh, found my ideal biome. It's a plains biome, and it's uh, it's really flat because it's a plains biome. And then there's some forests around here that I can take out really easily. And so if I want to make it in my district really large, I can 
but I'm going to try and fit it inside of a map. Alright, so all that's left now is to travel there in survival, and unfortunately I don't have any coarse fruit on me, so we're just going to have to make do with this steak. Zup! Alright, so we're here, and I think I'm just going to start by marking out, I have a map with me, so I'm just going to mark out the perimeters of this map, and... Then we can see what we're going to do on the inside, but we're just going to start with a perimeter. Alright, so I've finished a nice border out of oak planks, and now I've got a nice oak frame to this map. And I think the next logical thing to do would be a deforesting time lapse, because trees are not going to help me out at this point. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to sort of use a similar principle to what I did when I built the mansion. And I'm going to build a platform and then sort of terraform up to that platform so it looks like it's naturally generated, but really it's not. Like, it's how I built my mansion on sort of a makeshift hill. Um, never mind. Yeah, uh... The reality of having to terraform all the way around this entire thing has just struck me and yeah, I've got enough on my plate at the moment so um, I'm just gonna try and figure something else out. Um, maybe I can just flatten most of this area and then build it a lot lower. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I flattened out a corner and yes, that looks, yes, I, I really like the way that is turning out. Um, it's also going to be quite a bit easier, so this is what I'm going to do, even though it's going to require a lot of flattening. And after two hours of working, this is all the progress I've got. This is going to take ages. I didn't even know how long this was going to take until I started. And I've seen how little I've gotten done in two hours. So now that we're around about six of the way done, I'm going to be switching back to time lapses. It may have taken you 30 seconds to watch that clip, but it has taken me over six hours to record. And might I say, this is looking bonkers. This whole project is bonkers. And I cannot wait to continue laying out this wood and making a whole map light brown but unfortunately that is all we have time for we did so much in this episode and i cannot wait to continue on all of these projects good bye
Hello, my name is Grian, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Now I exaggerated the accent. Yes, I am liking that quite a bit. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Definitely, it's easier than terraforming up to the platform, even though it's going to. Oh no, I didn't even talk in Grian for in the start. Yes, that looks. Yes, that looks good it looks good and i yes yes uh how do you say yes with an english accent hello my name is green and welcome back to another episode of hermitcraft hello my name is green and welcome back to another episode of hermitcraft Hello, my name is Grian, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. 